game. We're going to come out airing it out. No, I, I just think, uh, you know, obviously kind of like what I said last week, you know, these guys played some coverage where we knew we were going to be able to throw the ball deep. You know, Missouri played a lot of coverage where you kind of got to dink it off and take your check downs. But we knew coming into the game that we were having some shots to take it deep. And so uh, we were a lot more aggressive, and uh, I think it paid off. You know, we were, we were uh, um, you know, they, I don't really think they knew what was coming, play action pass. We were throwing it well on first down. So uh, when, you, when we get like that, you know, that's where we've been trying to get all year. Um, you know, we're hard to stop. Have you been consciously, I hate to say that, you know, the, you know take your game up, but you know what I mean, without Todd, or is it, is it just kind of like you were, you felt like this was coming? I mean, honestly, I just feel like I'm, uh, I'm in a different groove than I have been uh, the first couple games of the year. I mean, um, you know, I kind of talked to you all after a Tennessee game where I told you all I was taking a new, whole new approach. New preparation was gonna, you know, kind of rip it more so, and that's just kind of the approach that I've taken, and taking a lot more pressure off myself, and just playing ball and playing more freely, not trying to get everything right, and it's and it's uh, it's it's helping. Was it how how much was it also knowing the second week in a row? I'm sort of just keeping the ball in the and letting him eat up some time in your office. Oh uh, yeah, I mean it's always great. You always try to be as balanced as possible. We know where we're gonna get out of those guys. So really, the better we throw the ball, the better we're gonna be. Nothing could go wrong. Everything went right in that first half. Second half, a little more struggling. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I think it's accumulation of things. The defense was giving us great field position. Anytime you got the ball at the 50 or plus 50, you have a great shot at least getting three points. And uh, we were just executing really well. I mean, that's what it comes down to. I don't know how many penalties we had on ourselves, uh, but I don't, we don't have any turnovers for a second week in a row. And like I said, we're not sexy or fancy by any means, but we do. Uh, the things it takes to win at a at a very consistent level and a very high level, and that's why we're successful. In this in this program, there's really not a lot bigger than Florida, and now you get two weeks. Y'all run out to a big, you know, mark here six and six and one with seven and one, whatever y'all are, Hudson. But the Florida game looms, or it always does. The games are a big deal, even if they're not, you know, number one in the country. Right. You know, I mean, those guys still control their destiny. Um, I know they play Mizzou today, but if they win, they still control their destiny. We still control ours. So. Um, you know, it's a game that no matter what, when you think of Georgia, Florida, no matter how they're doing, we're doing, it's going to be a brawl. I mean, uh, they don't like us, we don't like them, so uh, every single year, no matter what our record is going into it, you can expect a, uh, you know, a, a brawl fight. What, you know, you've never started in that game before. What do you expect going down there? I know tonight was a good win and everything, but I mean, looking forward. Yeah, I mean, uh, I've been down there. I know the, the atmosphere, and uh, but I think, you know, any, anytime you can... Uh, execute at a high level and kind of take the crowd out which we've done it you know kind of the past two weeks um, you know I'm treated like any other game uh, you know it's gonna be loud and we got to be able to handle that to win how confident are you that Sony will be back here uh, sooner rather than later I guess the Florida game yeah um, you know I've heard I've heard here you know say so when he's gonna be back I think they I think it's a pretty good possibility of him being back for Florida but you know, I don't, I don't want to say something that I'm not 100% sure on. So, How comfortable are you with Nick? I mean, it goes without saying he's played pretty well these last couple of weeks. Yeah, I mean, we 100%. We know Nick can, can get the job done. I think one, the one thing that went wrong, you may have underthrown to Chris or someone, but it probably was a touchdown. But other than that, it was a pretty good Yeah, you remember that one throw? Uh, you have to remind me which one. What, what has been the key to y'all kind of throwing it around? Have you just set, sort of let it go and just be yourself? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think early on in this season I was trying to do too many things, trying to really play outside of who I was, trying to get too many things right, really just trying to please too many people instead of uh, kind of simplifying my philosophy and simplifying my approach and uh, just kind of having a gunslinger mentality that got me here. And, uh, you know, ever since I've changed it, we've had some success. Thanks, Hudson.